So uh, today I wanted to share with you a project that I've been working on. Um, I was asked to do a commission. It's been a, a journey of trying to figure out how best to um, do this idea. The person had this an ancient coin from Israel, a widow's mite. You can see that. And he wanted to know, because it just sat in his drawer, and he wanted to know if I could do a painting you know, with a hand, you know, I've asked him which side he wanted up, the star side or the word side. So I'm going to put the word side up and that much is figured out. I've got a hand here and then how big, you know, if I do it too large, that little tiny thing isn't going to show up very, very prominently. So I decided to do this size because you're going to actually see it. And I have things I did was I took a photos of hands to see the different kind of colors hands are on our outside of our hands changes quite a bit in color but the inside of the hand it can be quite this quite similar even for people with slightly different colored skins and so that was interesting I have two hands here so this one is on a canvas paper um, but this one that's uh, uh, on my handmade paper that I make. It was a recycled watercolor paper. I tried to do a watercolor version of it. I didn't like that, so I flipped it over because uh, there was a rougher side and there was a nice smooth side. It has a nice, a nice texture, nice feel to it. I was hoping to go with this one. But um, I thought, well, maybe I better make sure that it's going to work with the coin and, and what kind of glues to make. So I did exploratory um, First I did it with just um, a canvas by itself, then I mounted it on a board so that I could really test it, and um, I tried different glues. I tried um, matte medium. Uh, the coins were able to just flip right off. And one of the things I noticed that is that there's, you know, it's it's not a clean coin, it's old. And so if, if I was to do it, what happens if, do I need to coat the whole thing so then I'm gluing it to the coating? Um, do I and different ways of coating it? So I have um, some of these are covered with uh, a varathane, some of it's um, gloss medium, matte medium. This one's matte medium, and it makes it kind of dull. Um, the gloss medium kind of disappears into the into the coin. Um, some of these didn't have any. Uh, some of them I did a wax coating. Um, there's a this is cold wax. Um, I lo looked up how to do, how to preserve um, um, metal, and they talked about using wax, so I thought, well, I'll try the wax medium, and, um, but then I wanted to make sure that it was going to still glue down once it was, had the wax on it, and, and it does seem to be sturdier with, on the canvas than it was when I, here's my, <laughs> here's the one. I did it with a handmade paper. So I used part of the paper that I had made this from, stuck it on here, threw some of the acrylic paints on, and you can see it pulled off. This is where it was matte medium here, um, and some of it just pulled right off, and this was, um, you can see it, it, the paper still stuck to it, where the, the, the glue had stuck to really the acrylic paint. But the paper, the uh, paint didn't go all the way through, and so the layers of paint of paper still ripped, and it went down, run down to the the board underneath. I will be putting it on a uh, wood, so that might make it a little bit different. I don't think I can use my favorite hand, so I'll probably have to fix this other hand to the, the point where I'm more happy with it. It's a, definitely more pink than I I think I want it to be. Um, I like how I have some blue tones in this one, um, but and I liked how the the blue has a it looks more like textile. I actually got this one changed a little bit enough, so you know this feels like it could be linen, um, something that's a little different, and so I'll just have to play around with this one to get to the point where I'm happy with the actual hand itself. And uh, I think I will be using um, like this 
as my stone. This, so I made a lot of different papers to see what kind of a stone effect I can get. And you can see, you know, I might put, like I could put a lighter version behind. And you can see the different papers creating a sense of a stone. And that would be how it will look when I finally get it completed. And now I get to start putting it all together. Here I go.